Okay, y'all. This is where my nuts and bolts and legs are. Can you see? This is a zippered pouch in the bottom. And this is, I told you that red thing was on there. I'll have to cut that off. But once I get this all spread out, I'm going to show you because this little click clack is kind of special. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I just dumped out my legs. There's four of them like this that will screw into slots. And look, they already have felt under them. I love that. And then you've got the two that you screw in with bolts. Now that is is a plastic. So that is going to get some felt on it. Absolutely. But um, anyway, here's my instructions. Oh, y'all probably can't see that. Anyway, the way that this is sitting is there's some screw holes right there. Now, a lot of people, when they do the reviews, they say, oh, the screw holes don't line up. I mean, good grief, people. Is everything supposed to be perfect? No, it isn't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ones on that I can get to. And I've got my little bolts here. There's not even any washers. And here's my Allen wrench. I wish y'all knew how many Allen wrenches I have. Okay, I love them. And then it shows you, I've already gotten my stuff out of the pocket. And I can lay it out flat like this and put them all on at one time. And I guess I will do that. Now look what this bed does. Oh yeah, I'll show you in real time. Now, I'm telling you, this, unlike some of Ikea's, is pretty simple to follow. Who needs a man? I've got Jerry on speed dial. <laughs> anyway, it's a mom day today, and I don't, don't want to bother him. But, y'all, the other bed that I had had these shiny, like, silver legs on it. I like these much, much better. So, I gotta get back to it. Bye now. Hey, y'all. Okay, I figured out exactly how to lay this baby down. And there's two ways that you can tell you've got it right. One is this outside piece right here is covered with the pretty fabric. So you want that to be on both ends. The other is the seat depth thickness is a little bit larger on the seat than it is on the back. Now you can see, of course, Miss Lily thinks she's helping me. One thing that I have learned from Jerry, I've learned a lot, I just can't remember it, but when you're going to do bolts, you don't tighten them down you wait till you get them all in the holes and these line up perfectly and then you tighten them down now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tighten oh i wouldn't watch them where the camera is i'm going to tighten this one and then i'm going to tighten the left one and then i'll do the other opposite ones now y'all i'm going to tell you right off the bat this is a much better quality click clack couch sleeper bed than the other one this fabric y'all know this fabric is on the bottom of all couches and love seats and mattresses box springs i should say and this is fairly thick and uh pretty sturdy if you're watching what you're doing now the other one oh lily's already got footprints on here um 
but uh, the other one, you could easily poke your finger through there. So, okay, got to let you go. I'm getting excited. The next thing you see, I'm going to screw all the legs on on the four corners, and I'm going to clean her little paw marks off of there, and then I'm going to have it sitting up the next time you see it. Bye now. Okay, y'all, you cannot tell it. It looks gray, but it is not. It's a beautiful kind of a moss green. And it that's what I was hoping, that it would look pretty with my curtains, and it does. Now, y'all, you see, this is what's special about this one. You can, uh, you see, this one's laying all the way down. Now, I got this particular one because it's memory foam and because I do believe it's a Serta. But I laid down right here and it's very comfortable. Now the other side, which is the back, is not that comfortable. It's okay, but I do love to sleep with my back next to the wall and I probably won't do that since this is the most comfortable side. And I'm a side sleeper, so it's no big deal. No big deal. Now, you may not see this bed couch click clack. I'm just going to call it a click clack. Y'all know what it is now. Click clack. But anyway, the other one I told you had two mattress pads. It had a blanket, and it had a good sheet on top of it. This is the weirdest sheet I've ever seen, y'all. But anyway, it worked good on my full-size bed. So, um, anyway, it you can adjust both sides separately. If uh, somebody came over and they wanted to curl up and take a little nap right there, they could. And I could still sit up. And watch my drive-in movie screen. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I'm going to try to show you without, you know. Now listen. Did you hear that? Sounds like my back. Now you hear it? That's how you get it to go down. And to get it up, listen now. That's one level right there. You can see it's kind of, they call that the lounge position. And then, listen. There you go. Now you're sitting up. Isn't that awesome, y'all? Now, I'm going to make another little video here in a second to do the unboxing of the sheets. So, um, because I have to wash them before I use them. So, I'll be right back. I forgot to tell you about one little thing down here. You see that little ledge right there? It's well supported with a sturdy, a sturdy leg under there. But that's a little shelf back there. Guess who loves that little shelf? Uh-huh. Miss Lily loves it. So, with the other one, it had the same little shelf they all do. Um, I wanted the kind that you could lift it up and it had storage underneath it. But it, they were all too long. And more money than I wanted to pay. And I know this sounds terrible, y'all. But in the morning, when I make my bed up to a couch, if I do, then I'm just going to throw all my covers, boom, over the back. I'll keep my floor clean, you know, because they're not going to stay right there. I could roll them all up into a long roll and use bungee cords, and you know I'm too lazy for that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that, and that will be Miss 
Lily's new hiding place. Y'all, I am so happy. I am so happy with this click clack. It fits perfect. It's, it's just awesome. The color, I wish you could see the color. It's that green in my curtains, the light colored green. It's like this part right there. It's so beautiful. Now, it's not very tall. You can see. And that's one of the things that people always complain about in the reviews. Oh, I didn't know it was made for somebody with really short legs. Well, that's one reason why I love them, y'all. Because my legs, look at that, isn't that cute? Um, because my legs, you can see, I am not restricted right here. That's not a bruise down there. That's a shadow. Quit looking at my pretty feet. But anyway, I love it that it's that low to the ground. The only problem is, and I could use bed risers, is you can't use it much for storage. But now, see, uh, I got two of these, and they're on rollers. Now, y'all, you cannot, just because those things have rollers, just scooch and scratch them all over the place. You can't pull them like this across your floor. You have to make sure that they're going in the right direction. And I usually just kind of pick it up anyway. That one is really heavy. But, um, oh, and my couch. Oh, look, there you can kind of see the color. There you go. Anyway, it looks wonderful with the throne, with the green in the throne. It's just beautiful. Now, so far, it's really comfy to sit on. But I've started this new series of books about this young woman. That's a whole other video. Oh, my God, y'all. I may never stop. I might have to hire somebody to upload these things so that you guys will actually get to see them in the same year that I made them. Okay, I'm coming right back to do the unboxing of the sheets.